Hey guys, it's Gerald and today I'm so excited to be with you guys. We're going to be doing a racket comparison, a racket review and we're going to be reviewing three different rackets. Like we're going to start off with like a knockoff, not knockoff, cheap $5 T-joint racket followed by a more expensive $50 off-brand racket and last but not least, a premium $100 or was it $200? ish dollar leaning limited edition racket, right? So if you're excited, Join me! Alright, so let's see what we have over here. First up, we have this GR201 developed by Yonex Japan. It's 590. It looks like this. It even has stencil on the string. Can you imagine? Racket, string, grip. 590, that's an insane value right here. But how will it fare when we actually bring it on court? We'll find out. Next up, we have this racket called uh, Scorpio. I have no idea what this Scorpio brand is. It looks like a Chinese brand. Uh, yeah, it's this TB Nano. It's about 50 Singapore dollars. That's about 35 United States dollars. So I would consider this like a mid-tier kind of racket. So last but not least, we have Woods N90. So this is the limited edition racket. If you can see clearly, there's a Lindan logo right here. So this, I think they no longer produce this. When it, when this first came out, it was priced at close to like $400. It came in like a silver suitcase. Yeah, that's how, that's how premium this thing is. But right now, I think if you can find it, you would probably find this or a similar kind of racket for like a $200. US dollars. So this would cons would this would con be considered like a top of the line racket. But question is, does top of the line mean top performance on the court? We'll find out. Today, it is not only going to be me who's reviewing this shuttle. I also have two other friends that's going to be helping me out when it comes to reviewing the racket. So first, we're going to have Josiah, who's like a school team level kind of player. And we're also going to have Tristan, who is a complete beginner. So she's going to help me to review this racket along, alongside myself. So there's going to be a couple of ways that we're going to review the racket. The first is we're going to do like an attacking kind of test. Basically, we're going to do the smashing technique, the driving technique, and we see whether the racket is effective in doing that. So the second thing we're going to do is uh, the smashing lifting test. So people are going to, my friend is going to smash and I'm going to lift his smash and from there we can see whether the shuttle the racket is effective in bringing the shuttle all the way back to the baseline last but not least is the soft skill so my friend again is going to smash and we're going to block the shuttle towards the front and from there we judge if the racket is effective in controlling like the soft shots towards the front in this video we're not going to do like the weight balance test because as you can see the grip is different the string is a little different and because the thickness of the string can vary the weight of the grip can vary, whether it's like a G5 or a G4 kind of grip. It affects the racket balance and therefore we... Yeah, I don't think it's very reliable to do like a balance point test. So we'll kind of cut that out. Alright, so let's begin. So we're going to take turns to try out different rackets. First up, let's get like a first quick impression on the rackets. So Tris, so for me, I'm going to use this. You know, this is the rackets I've been using for a lot of my videos. And for you, you're going to get Lin Dan's racket. <laughs> What do you think? Feels good. I, to be honest, I probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference between this and the five dollar one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So for you, you're gonna get my very special racket, the five dollars racket. <laughs> wow. Well, the string ain't straight for starters. As you can see, the left side of the racket is ain't really that straight <laughs> compared to another racket. Should compare to another racket. Feels really heavy. Like in general, I uh, feel like I won't survive uh, one set in a tournament. Feel like this racket's gonna fly. Like it feels like I'm in a gym, you know. Like this is like a weight. Like some some weights I do in the gym. Oh goodness! Oh, God, this is heavy. Oh, Tiana. Oh, well, this this racket when I smash, it feels like. My power is just not coming through. I'm using a lot of strength to smash actually, but my shutters are just not flying right. And for driving, it just feels really hard to control my drive sometimes. Yeah, it just feels, the racket feels very heavy in general. That's why. 
Not not even his racket. Yeah. <laughs> Must be the racket. <laughs> hey, see ya. Oh shit. Nice. Ow. Oh, this racket feels much way feels way better than a five dollar racket. I think the most different is when the drive. I think the racket is more flexible here. So it's actually really way easier to control the drive. Yeah, for smashing wise, I think I think the weight distribution around the racket is way better. So it's easier for me to do a smash. Yeah. Yeah, the smash <laughs> is way harder, man. I can really feel the power coming through this one. Oh, maybe just my racket, huh? <laughs> <laughs> racket. Lastly, your racket. Okay, so, uh, now we now we're gonna just swap over to the other racket. Let's yeah. see how it, how it works. Yeah, I'm gonna catch it. Hey Joe, catch! Yeah, the other one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> too far, too far. Last be the racket outside. <laughs> yeah, I think this racket is pretty. I think out of the all three, it's very balanced. Like it's head heavy, but it's easier to smash because this here is like I think it's more flexible. Yeah, uh, for driving, it feels really, really flexible. So it's very easy to control the shuttle. Like I feel like I was controlling the game if I was playing a competition. This is Lindan's racket. Limited edition record is designed specifically for Lin Dan. I feel honored. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Feels good. I don't think I like the towel grip, but um, yeah, it feels quite sturdy. I feel like I get quite good power on my shots. But then again, I don't have much to compare it to, so. All right, so let's compare this racket. This is not the five dollar racket. <laughs> this is not the five dollar racket. Okay, let's try it again. Whoa, this feels different. <laughs> so what do you think of this? Um, I feel like I have to hit a lot harder in order to get the same amount of um, speed or power. And I significant? I would say it's significant, but yeah, I, it feels I, yeah, quite different. Honest, I, think, I think it feels different. I, I do feel but different. But if you just gave this to me, and I didn't have anything to compare it to, I would be perfectly happy using this. And because I mean, my skill is pretty low level, so I don't think it makes that much difference in terms of my gameplay. Oops. Alright, it's just So now let's just swap pieces. I'm not going to throw it to you, man. I don't dare to throw it to you anymore. <laughs> Oh, this feels good. Must be the racket. Oops. Oops. There we go. Look at his embarrassed face. <laughs> Alright, so this is my favorite racket. What do you think? I really like this racket actually. It's lighter compared to um, the red one or the expensive one. Mean. But uh, I think overall, it. I feel like I have the most control with this one and I feel faster using this. I can't really explain why, but I, I, I do.
All right, let's begin. I'm going to pound this guy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> ah, sorry. Half smash. Half smash. Let me just switch sides. Very light, very nice. Very easy to drive because it's light. But I feel that when I'm driving this, it doesn't carry the power forward because uh, the head is not actually very heavy. It's quite a balanced racket. So that's the uh, beauty and flaw of this racket. It's light, so it's very easy to swing my racket, but not very powerful. Now for the $5 racket, give it to Papa. All right, here you go. Catch. Ah, must be the racket. Are you ready? Mm. Eat the humble pie, let's go. Oh. Ah, sorry, my mistake. Not the racket. My mistake, definitely not the racket. No problem. Whew. This racket is hard to control, man. Sorry. Ah. So this is the 590 racket by Yonex GR201. Uh, when I first used this racket, right, I wasn't accustomed to it. Like it brings the shuttle very steep down. Like in terms of control, it's quite uncomfortable to control. So that's why I made a lot of mistakes, especially when I did the drive. I did the smash in the beginning. But once I adapted to this, it was okay. It was, uh, I can use this racket, but because of the string, like you hear the string, it's very hard to kind of control uh, the shot, the speed of the shots. And this racket is very un-aerodynamic because when I swing, it does not, uh, the racket does not flow nicely at all. So the power is kind of like stuck on the racket because the even though this is a balanced racket, the power does not just flow through. So there was really no power in my shot because of the racket, because of the string. So yeah, that's why it's 590. Let's try the woods. Hey, don't think dirty, okay? Uh, so, yeah, oh wait, my racket. Nice. So did you know, did you know the name woods came from uh, an adage of Sun Tzu, the art of war, basically when for when in aggression, be as fierce as the flame, and when in tactics, be as... What's the word again? <laughs> when in tactics... Did you know the words N90, this name came from the, an adage of uh, the art of war from Sun Tzu. Basically, when in aggression, be as fierce as the flames, and when in tactics, be as... Intricate as the words. Ah. Look at that <laughs> Ready? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, okay. Last one. Uh. Let's do this. <laughs> there we go. Woo! Beautiful. So this is the racket that I used while I was in the national team. Really built for power. But this racket is so heavy though. So if you want to kind of swing like uh, shots that you need to react quickly, like especially the drive shot that's a little bit uh, fast, it's a little bit hard to get those shuttles. But if the shuttle is nice and slow and high, Ooh, bam! All right, so now that we're done with the attacking segment, let's do the defending kind of test where we test like our drive, so, sorry, not our drive, our lifts, 
whether we are lifting the smash, lifting in the front, uh, basically defensive shots. Okay. Did you also know badminton players' unrivaled tactics share the same characteristic as words? What was the word? Exuberant, exuberant, invulnerable, and boundless. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to start first for this. Let's go. Up. No problem. Yeah, I was tricked already. Ah, mistake. No problem. Ah, dude. Really nice, really light, easy to maneuver. So it was very nice, especially when I tried to lift this uh, shuttle. Very easy to get my racket to where I want it to be. Uh, of course, in terms of uh, shaft, it's not very flexible, so I couldn't get a lot of power hitting upwards, no but still very relatively nice when it comes to controlling the shuttle upwards. So I really enjoyed using this uh, racket when it comes to lifting and blocking or doing controlling the soft shots. Alright, so now I've got my words. Let's begin. Alright. No problem. Easy. Ah, sorry. Sorry, I guess a bit heavy. Huh? Ooh, nice shot. Yeah. So, uh, basically, this Woods N90 is heavy, you know? It's hard to kind of maneuver it left and right. But once the racket is there, it's very easy to kind of control the shuttle and bring it forward because I think it's very head heavy and aerodynamic so it's very nice to push it forward uh, when it comes to lifting up a little bit more difficult because uh, yeah the racket's heavy but there's a lot of power like because of the way the weight di is distributed ah, in this racket so good racket Joe let's switch ready <laughs> that's my racket should have dropped this racket instead man not the other racket <laughs> No problem. There we go. Oh, it's hard to bring the shuttle up. Let's go again. Ah! Feels like this racket is short. Ah. Uh, Alright, so this uh, GR201, really heavy though, so maneuvering is quite hard, uh, but it's not hard because the head is kind of light compared to uh, the body. So, how do I put this nicely? When I move it, I try to swing. There's absolutely no power in the shot, but the, racket. the shuttle just doesn't fly. I think partly because of the racket, the weight distribution, and secondly because of the string. This string is just so terrible. I just can't bring the power forward. Like typically a lot of shuttles, when you reach the side, BAM! Baseline. But with this racket, barely half the court. So I could, could not borrow his strength and kind of bring the shuttle to the back. I think that's first. And secondly, I think this racket feels... Defin it definitely feels shorter than usual. Yeah, but that's just me, right? Or is it really shorter than usual? Okay, so... Yep. Ready? No. Ready? No. There you go. <laughs> The best record in the world. Wow, thank you very much. Let's go. The string even is not even straight to start with. How am I gonna play with this? AKA the worst record to use. 
Oh crap. Come on! Go on a bit. Yeah, I think for this racket, firstly is the grip. It's because I have sweaty palms. It feels like I'm gonna throw the racket out of my hands very soon. Uh, it's very heavy. It feels like every time I use a lot of strength to defend or lift, it doesn't go very far. Uh, yeah, in general, AK the best racket? Nah, I don't think so. My hands hurt from that. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be a lot better. Oh no, nope, maybe not. <laughs> oh my god, I must be the racket, man. Oh, crap. <laughs> What now? Well, the first thing, this feels way lighter than the $5 racket. Um, for defensive-wise, this is way easier to control. Uh, for me, I think I didn't use a lot of strength and all my shuttles actually went to the baseline at least. Uh, I think this is really great for competition and yeah, I really recommend people using this. <laughs> Last one. Yeah, my baby. Just oh, drop no. it on the floor. It's fine. It, it, it's, okay. It's, it's, <laughs> I'll drop it. <laughs> I feel so honored using this racket sometimes. Because I was a fan of Lin Dan, you know? Lin Dan sponsor me next time. No, don't sponsor me. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Crap. Ha, <laughs> 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 huh, I guess it must be the racket that's winning the points. <laughs> well, I think, yeah, this racket's, um, when I first held it, it felt a bit heavier than the $50 racket. But I think it's actually quite good actually for me as um, I used to, I'm quite used to lifting. And I think whenever I get a full swing into it, the shuttle goes to the baseline really easily without quite a lot of strength. It's just, um, yeah, for defending wise, it's also pretty easy. Once I hit the shuttle and the sweet connection, it actually goes pretty, pretty far. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Don't throw it. Okay. That's better. Still trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. Defend. Defend? Lift. And lift. Half court. Half court. Okay. Ready as I'll ever be. Oops. 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 Why do I keep missing? I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep missing. Okay, to be honest, I don't have a whole lot to comment on this racket because I was too focused on trying to hit the shuttles <laughs> and to get them where I wanted them to go. But I mean, it, I would not have any complaints using this racket. Would I know that it's a $300 racket? Probably not.
Because you keep on heading to the front and then I keep missing it. <laughs> Oops! 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 <laughs> you keep heading to my blind spot. <laughs> Kind of hit right to my body, give me some space. Why do you confuse me? I actually like this racket um, a lot better because it's lighter and I felt that I have uh, more control. Um, I don't know if it's just because I just got a little bit more used to the drill, but it seems just a little bit easier to play. So yeah, I like this racket a lot. <laughs> Now for the most premium, the best racket. <laughs> racket. Yeah. Oh. But if I stand too far back, then I can't lift it when you. I can't lift it when you put it to the front court. We done. Yeah, I don't. I legit don't mind this racket. I think um, when we were doing the previous uh, drill, which was lobbing and smashing, I felt a lot more different. But for this like mid to front court stuff, I honestly did not feel that much difference. Um, the, I think the grip on this particular racket is a little thin. But if we change it to a thicker grip, honestly, I would not mind using this. All right. So it's time for the verdict. What do you think of the racket? What do you think is the most value for money racket? Um, I think overall, I would say that the mid-tier um, uh, $50 racket was the most value for money. But I think um, it would depend on the player as well. Like if you just want to go and try out playing badminton once and you don't ever plan on playing again, honestly, the $5 racket is just fine. If you're a beginner and you don't really know what you're doing, but yeah. But so overall, I think in terms of like quality, if you want to play recreationally or even if you want to play to a higher level, I think the $50 racket is a really good deal. Yeah, I think for me, like the best racket for me is actually, I think it's still the mid-tier racket. I think because of the, because the woods, I felt that it was, uh, not only was it very expensive for me, but I think because at my level, I don't play like a competitive basis, like, like I don't go for competitions very regularly. And I feel that a mid-tier racket will be good enough for you because I think it's one is light and the specs of it is still pretty good. Like it's still like for that that scorpion racket, like it has a flexible like 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 in a set flexible center which helps in controlling the game a bit. And I think for people who are playing at my level, like a school team level where we train regularly, but not as regularly as competitive players, I think that's a good enough racket for you. Because I think for Woods, it's actually a very like specified racket. Like it's very heavy headed with a very stiff like neck basically it's it's very customized to somebody's liking and if you don't know what's your personal preference i think it's best not to go for such an expensive racket because you don't really i think from for me basically i don't think i would know how to use it properly especially in a match yeah and for me i feel that uh, i would definitely get woods if i'm playing like a very important match like national championship things of that sort where racket really makes a difference woods clearly 
made quite a lot of difference for me. So I would definitely speak words over the other two. So that's where I see the value. Uh, but that being said, 300 bucks, crazy expensive, man. I'm cheap, so I'm only going to choose the middle one as well. That's the most valuable racket for me. But in terms of favorites, let's talk about favorites. What's your favorite? I mean, I'm pretty cheap, so if I had to buy one myself, I'd probably just buy the $5 one. I think <laughs> it's good enough for me. I mean, for me, I, price, price is not a... I mean, I'm a bit biased because I love to have expensive stuff. And when I first heard that the, the, right. the, the woods was like $300, right. usually I'm the kind that wants to get my hands on it. But if I had to choose a favorite racket based on performance-wise, I think the mid-tier racket is still the best for me. Right. Yeah, because I didn't feel a big Fair. big difference between the $300 one and, the, and like the mid-tier one. Yeah. Like for me, I probably would lean slightly more towards woods but i wouldn't choose woods it's just too heavy you know the weight is not very good for playing uh, competition because now i'm like so out of shape i no longer have that dexterity or agility to move rackets fast like i used to before and using a heavy racket would mean that i practically can't defend well and i'm already not good at defending so woods is a little bit too heavy so i would pick uh scorpio for the sake of performance 